South Korean Christians actually did a lot in terms of transforming Korean society from a military dictatorship to democratic society. That is very true. But South Korean churches has a main difference from the Chinese churches at the moment because they were not controlled or permitted by the government. It was a separate organization. So people actually involved a lot in the anti-government protests because they found that it was going against their Christian belief to love your neighbors as yourself. But in, in China, I think that must be a most diff, um, a lot different situation. Previously, I saw one of the uh, American documentary about uh, Chinese churches, and the sermons were so uh, shocking to me because it was so blessing the government, blessing China as if it's the second Jerusalem, and it's like the second chosen people. If the church that permitted by the government are so happily in hand with each other, then how can you possibly uh, see, uh, foresee uh, more uh, like a transforming uh, movement from Christians? Well, that's, that's a very good question. And I think the Chinese Christians are going to have to decide that themselves. At what point does their love for China require them to uh, agree with the government and obey the government? And at what point do they begin to stand up for things like the rights of freedom of conscience and so on? Um, if you look at most of the countries of the West, you find that they struggle to achieve freedom of conscience. And very often that meant against a state-controlled church was an important element in the construction of democratic privilege and democratic practice. Uh, many people believe that the Protestant Reformation, and particularly the Puritan movement in the United States, was one of the ingredients that led to the willingness of Americans to resist the British crown, which of course led to the American Revolution. Now, I don't know what will happen in China, but I, I know that there are, there are clashes going on at this point, and the Chinese government is going to have to decide whether it will allow freedom of conscience for its Christians or whether it wants to be in a sort of permanent battle uh, to suppress the rights to worship that Christians desire. And I think how the Christians behave in this struggle with the Chinese government is going to be determining uh, what course China takes in the future.